Okay. Hey, what's up? It's DJ Block again. here. Carrie Pink. <laughs> we here again. So now this is this is our um, cons. Yeah. Of cons. living in North Carolina, Charlotte, metropolitan area. So DJ Block doesn't like my first con. I don't like that. He thinks it's mean, but it's not about being mean, right? So. And I'm the mean one. We're from a beautiful city, right? In New York, right? We're from New York is a beautiful place, and it's filled with lots of beautiful people. And here, I just feel like people are so like. Uh, ho hum, t-shirts and culottes and flip flops. Yeah, we everywhere I go, people are like, "Oh my god!" Like they know I'm not from here because of the way I dress and the way I dress my kids. Feeling yourself? No, it's true. How many times have people said, "Oh my god, I love your outfit"? Oh my god. I mean, South Park is as close as you can get to being cosmopolitan out here. A bougie? That's what you're trying to say? Yeah. Sorry. Next. Okay, um, another con, con number two, we kind of live far from everything. Yeah. But, but that's our own fault. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> everything is pretty much spaced out. Uh, it's bad and good. Yeah. It's bad and good. You don't want people on top of you, but you don't want to drive 30 minutes to go everywhere. And that's just part of living in the South period, because it's the same in Atlanta. We're back. <laughs> they don't know that we had to stop. <laughs> Maybe you had to stop. Now you know. Make sure y'all subscribe. You know, like and like and leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're considering moving this way, or if you already live here and you think we're totally wrong, that's totally fine. Yeah, we're open to all comments and suggestions. Anything. Okay. So, con number two. The job market sucks. People told us it was good before we got here. It's a lie. People told us it was bad before we got here too. They did? No one told me that. They told me jobs in Raleigh is better than in Charlotte. Yeah, the job market here is pretty fickle. Like, they have some very strange ways of doing things, right? Like, we've gotten calls for jobs and then never yeah. heard from people again <laughs> i guess that means we didn't get the job no but even after you got certain jobs they're like yeah you got the job you're hired and then you're like okay when's my start date crickets <laughs> yeah job market here is crickets. Like, it's just i mean it's not many so you don't have uh a lot to choose from and what you want to do is a small yeah, market a small especially market. depending on what you do you know if you work in banking, you should be fine. You know, there's plenty of banks here. Or if you work in medical, if you work in, the, yeah. the, I mean, the hospital networks here, they have two huge networks. Very good, very good hospitals. So that's it, I mean, I guess we need to change professions to bank in. Not changing nothing. <laughs> Not changing <laughs> Because nothing. everything else is sort of dry. They have like three jobs in every market. But, okay. All right, so that, I mean, don't come down here expecting that you're gonna get a job right away. We both had jobs when we got here, and then we lost I those jobs. I got fired. We lost those jobs. I got fired my first time in my whole life. Me fired, too. You know? I've never been fired from a job in my life. And they kicked our butts to the curb. It was like, we get to the Brooklyn Night time here. Yeah. I know, we had too much thought. Suggestions and yeah, too opinions, outspoken, I guess. Way too like outspoken. That. I guess I gotta learn to say yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I don't know about all of that, but... I don't know. They kicked us to the curb, so... That... It don't matter to me. So, anyway. Um, okay. For me, a con is the, the archaic and sort of sexist way of thinking. Like, especially in the job market. Like, I've had people tell me pretty much to my face, yeah, you're not going to get that job because you're a woman. Yeah, it's messed up. And I was like, can you say that? <laughs> is that legal? I mean, they do. <laughs> but they do. And they're not shy about it. Also, with the job situation, like down here, um, so I work in the audio field, AV, live engineering, things like that. There's no unions down here. So yeah. New York, there's unions. You know, there's there's unions, yeah. communication workers union. I was in that union working with a few companies. They just have Joe Schmo down here just pulling cable, doing whatever they anybody, need to do, just get anybody the Anybody they done. find on the street, they're like, hey, you want work? And when they pay them, <laughs> they pay them like $12. And then when you come down here with skills, they're like, well, our budget is only... $12. <laughs> you 
we can probably give you fifteen dollars to do the same work. They don't care. They got someone who can do it for twelve dollars. So they gonna right. They'll you, go with them. They'll pull Even if that person never did it before a day right. in their life, they're like, you want to try? <laughs> they have to do it, so they'll figure it go out. Go for but, it. Yeah, I that's mean, a big issue. That's a big issue, you know. So. And so that actually goes right into our next con about wages. Like, even if you do get a job, don't expect to make any real yeah, money. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> like, it's cheaper to live here, but not that much cheaper like the way that they make it seem like oh you only need to make 30,000 like how are you gonna live on 30,000 it's like, cheaper to live here but yeah you ain't gonna be able to go and do nothing right exactly you, it. it's you cheaper to live here but they're not making any money so everyone sort of stays home yeah it's weird that sucks that's whack that is pretty whack we're not those type of people so we don't know she likes to go out we don't know how much longer this is gonna last here <laughs> I mean we like it I mean I don't know. We'll see. It's cool. It's not bad. It's not. It's it has not, pros and cons. It has pros That's and cons. Why we're and we, doing and this a lot good. of it, we're thinking about, about it for our kids. You know, like we have a we have a teenager who's in tenth grade, so we're trying to. I love my kids and all, but mama needs. Trying to figure out if we're gonna just let let her finish up high school here or not. But if something comes up in somewhere, somewhere else. else. <laughs> Bye, Shirley. That's what it is, you know? <laughs> And that's anywhere, like, yo, moving here was a big step for us. We were born and raised in Brooklyn. Our family is West Indian, but now I ain't afraid to go nowhere. We could go anywhere. You know, so. LA. Don't play with me. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to go to LA, y'all, and I'm like, ah. My sister would die if we came to LA because no, she I don't lives think in she LA. Would die. She would love it. She would be so happy if we moved to LA. Yeah, we like LA a lot. You know, we travel a lot, so we're not. Not since we moved here. Well, not you. Okay, Next. not since I moved here. Okay, um, so when you're driving, you feel the miles out here, which is very different. Like, there's you can't tell anybody I'll be there in 15 minutes because you just won't. That's if just, you're 15 minutes away, maybe you can get there in 15 minutes. If you're 15 minutes away, that means you're at least 15 miles away. So yeah. you feel the distance here. You drive a mile a minute here. Yeah, because you're speeding. But it, you feel it. Like you, It's not like Brooklyn where you're like, I could get downtown Brooklyn in five minutes if I wanted to. How? If I took Flatbush straight and every light was green. It's highly unlikely every light is going to be green. I catch green lights. But you do feel the miles. Um, you, you, it's a lot of driving on your vehicle. Your vehicle got to be in top shape, or you got to have a newer car, or just be willing to spend money in your car. You it's know? true. Right. If your car breaks down, it's a wrap for you out here. You better have AAA. You better have and Geico some type and of towing company to yep. pick you up. Cause and I, and I, AAA I, only gives you four calls a year. We didn't know that until we lived here, <laughs> and we're on our fifth call. <laughs> It happens, yo. Our we truck we three, brought down here, like, yo. Three flat tires and one dead battery. It happens, like. So we were out of calls on AAA. So we had to actually add. So I had the AAA account. So I had to add him to my account as an additional driver so that we could get four more calls. <laughs> I should have just used um my Geico. It's okay. All right. Um, Next con. There's no hustle mentality out here really i don't know it we probably just not around the right people yeah maybe i don't not know we're still right trying people. to find our tribe we've gotten a little bit better we found some more people that we feel relatable to yeah shout out to fab wives hey Rhea. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, what's up? Um, i just think that we kind of like move like like new yorkers we move on a certain accord like we yo all right we want to bring this up we want to do this all right we're gonna we go meet about it, it tomorrow right we, we want to get it, it done like we want to do it we People pushed here the, we like, pushed the envelope. Yeah, They're like, well, we're going to go no, see and if this is going to work. And I, I don't know. That's just the culture here. It's just know. different. And to us, it just seems like we come across as very ambitious and pushing the envelope aggressive. too aggressive. We're too aggressive. Well, it is what it is. When we see opportunity, we're trying to conquer it. You know, right, we're trying exactly. to make it work. Out here, they're like, no, we don't think we want to try that. They're very hesitant. And it, it, probably too is just that they don't know us and they just want to be like, well, I don't really know you and I'm not going to Yeah, and that's and definitely a thing. If they don't know you out here, forget about it. Like, if they didn't meet you through somebody that they are like, oh, okay. So, um. We got three more cons. Yeah. First one is what? <laughs> we want to do culture. So Charlotte's culture, Charlotte doesn't really have 
from what we've experienced, they don't really have that much of a culture, I guess because the city is still so new. Football and, is their culture. Yeah, football. That's the South period, yo. That's all guys like football, no matter where you go. I mean, but like... Oh, my God. Yeah, because you're crazy. You see that? Let's see what she was doing. I don't know what she was doing. What? Um, <laughs> We're editing that part. <laughs> So the culture is in um, Charlotte. There's not really much of it. There's a lot of people from different nationalities here. We've noticed like it's not only white. It's not only you know black Americans or. I've seen know, one Asian person. So probably. It's a few. Asian. They have an Asian community though. Um, also, you know. Maybe they. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see it as big as you know. I mean, no place is gonna see it like New York. But diversity here is sort of like uh, it's there, but it's not there. Right, but culture wise, like different types of music, like where's the salsa night? Where's the Caribbean night? Where's I mean, they do the... have they do have Caribbean night and they do have Spanish neighborhoods, but it's a different kind of Spanish. Mm -hmm. They're more South American Spanish, I believe, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Ecuador, places mm -hmm. like that. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we're no. talking about so mm -hmm. cultures, there's a lot of there's I mean, I don't know. They call all Anyone who's Hispanic here, they consider them Mexican, and they're Which not. Which is bad. That's they're not. Good. not. They're not all Mexican, for yeah. starters. Um, I don't know. I mean, we're still the verdict's still out on that piece, but culture is a big thing. Like it's not. It's not. It's. I don't know. We can't find it. <laughs> yeah, it's just. A, it's just a lot of different people here. So there's no. <laughs> what we it. mean about like culture is like. Just just a comparison, like, say for instance, Brooklyn, right? You know, in the Flatbush neighborhood, there's mostly Caribbean people, West right. Indian. There's there's Americans there too, but there's a lot of Caribbean people. Yeah. You go to like um, Bay Ridge, you're gonna find a lot of Russian Russians yeah. now, and um, certain other parts like Sunset Park is a lot of Spanish people. Mm -hmm. So you know, and like certain parts of Bay Ridge is Asian community too, which we have Chinatown in Manhattan. So like, if you want those kinds of foods, so we know where to go to get it. Here we don't, we kind of don't yeah, have that. No, then we have a yeah. lot of different restaurants <laughs> cool. all over the place, like chain restaurants. But how do you find like, yo, I want some Italian the food. The cultural stuff. Like the cultural stuff. That's a that's a kind that we don't like about here. Like, right. Like, yeah. Where do we go? I mean, there's a big, um, there's a big Indian community here, right? Valentine. Um, in Valentine. But even then, like, I don't see like, like with the Indian restaurant to match it you know like it's yeah. it's not the same it's, not the, it's same. not the same and then like for us being caribbean like we we can't find anybody here that's not jamaican like where are or the jamaicans there's, there, there's jamaicans and there's uh people from the virgin islands so the virgin islands is a is a is a collective of a lot of different your sisters have to help you find yeah it's a lot of different um cultures in the Virgin Islands, where there's a lot of different islands combined together, which I don't brings know I think the Virgin from Islands, from the Virgin like Islands. You know, Every, St. Croix. I met one Saint Trinidadian, Kids, and I was like, like <gasps> Oh my God! What? No, they're not. You can go have some. Bye. So, um, <laughs> Kid bomb. Listen, this is our real life. Okay. Okay, close the door. Okay, we'll Bye. have something else. So, um, Kid bombs exist in our life. Yeah, so those, those are them. those are one of the things that we, you know, about the cultures that we look forward to helping, hoping okay. it grows here. Let, let's be real. There is, all the Caribbean restaurants that we found here are Jamaican, right? There's not one Trinidadian restaurant in the whole of Charlotte. I heard that there was one and it got closed down. There's, um, no, there's no Bajan restaurant. There's, there's no, no Bajan restaurant. Grenada. There's no Grenada. To wrap this up. We got a lot of cons, right? We got a lot to say. We have more to say than we thought. We got a lot more. We got a lot more videos coming too, so. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Um, so Subscribe. We Join us next time on the Marriage, Money, and Music Show. I'm your host, Carrie Pink, co-hosted by DJ Block, and we will see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Don't forget to let us know if you're thinking about moving to the Charlotte area what you are most looking forward to or what you've heard that's different than what we talked about today. See you next time. Bye.